A series circuit contains one path for electricity to travel through. If a series circuit breaks in any place, the entire circuit stops working. In this bottom picture, the middle bulb is broken and that creates a small gap in the circuit. Now electricity cannot get from one side of the battery and through the entire circuit and back to the other side because there's a gap. So all of the light bulbs have stopped working. This is a series circuit and you can see on the left here that electricity is able to travel through the entire circuit and all the light bulbs are glowing. But when I open the switch, I create a gap in the middle of the circuit. Opening the switch in the middle of the circuit turned off all the bulbs. In a series circuit, it does not matter where the gap happens. If you get a gap anywhere in a series circuit, the entire circuit stops working. A parallel circuit contains more than one path for electricity to travel through. So I can see in this top picture, electricity could travel this way through the circuit, or electricity could travel through this middle part of the circuit, or electricity could travel through this top part of the circuit. Those are three different paths for electricity to travel through. Now in a parallel circuit, if one part of the circuit breaks, the rest of the circuit can keep working. And in this bottom picture, I can see that the middle bulb is broken, but the bottom light bulb is still glowing and the top light bulb is still glowing because electricity can go from the battery through those light bulbs and back to the other side of the battery without having to go through that gap. Earlier in the series circuit, when there was a gap, that stopped all of the electricity from getting from one side of the battery to the other. But in a parallel circuit, there's more than one path. So electricity can still get from one side of the battery through part of the circuit and back to the other side of the battery without having to go through the gap. And that's why the rest of the circuit keeps working. Now it's very important that you understand that electricity travels all the way through a path or not at all. So it doesn't matter whether a bulb is in front of a switch or after a switch. If there is a switch that's open creating a gap along a path, and electricity cannot get from the battery through the path and back to the other side of the battery, then nothing that's along that path will work. So you can see in this first picture that the top bulb is glowing. That's because electricity can get from the battery through that top path and back to the other side of the battery. And so that light bulb is glowing. But one of the switches is open on the other path. So electricity cannot get through the light bulb and through the rest of that path and back to the other side of that battery. And if electricity can't get all the way through that path, then it won't go through that path at all. So in this circuit, electricity is only flowing around that top path. In our second picture, you can see that when I try to get from the battery and through the light bulb and first switch and back to the other side of the battery, I get stopped by this switch. There's a gap that's keeping electricity from getting all the way through that path and back to the other side of the battery. And the same thing happens through the other path. When I try to get all the way back to the battery, I get stopped. So because this switch is a part of every path through this circuit, when I open this switch, it creates a gap in every path and turns off the whole circuit. So here I have an example of a parallel circuit. Now electricity can go along this outside path through the red and the blue bulbs and back to the other side of the battery, or electricity can go along this middle path through the yellow and green bulbs and back to the battery. And right here, all of the switches are closed, so all of the light bulbs are glowing. But here you can see that the yellow and green bulbs are not glowing. Electricity can still go from the battery and through this outside path through the red and the blue bulbs. And so the red and the blue bulbs are still glowing, but electricity can no longer go from the battery and through that entire middle path and back to the other side of the battery. If there's a switch open along a path, electricity will not flow through that path. That's because electricity either goes all the way or not at all. So because electricity cannot get all the way through the path containing the yellow and the green bulbs, it doesn't go through that path at all and neither bulb is glowing. I hope this video has helped you understand series and parallel circuits a little better. Keep up the great work and I'll see you next time.